So you want to learn to draw or paint in a structured way, but have no idea where to begin, then this video is for you. I am gonna help you make your own personalized art curriculum, as well as signposting you to some free online resources that are available. Oh, it's not all me, it is, it, it's partly the baby as well. Oh, I need a new chair. Hello and welcome to my channel. So I've planned out my own self-taught art curriculum based on mostly online free resources. I thought I'd share my planning method with you so that hopefully you might find it useful and be able to plan your own. How do you know what to put into your self-taught art curriculum? Well, it's gonna be based on what your interests are. It's gonna be different for everyone. What do you want to learn? So I'm gonna be starting right from the basics because up until now I've sort of been winging it, uh, which is actually how I spend most of life. But anyways, step one. Firstly, you need to know what you want to get better at. What are your artistic interests? Keep it simple, I want you to pick three. And of these three, you want the first one to be the fundamentals of art. The second one, you want to be the medium of your choice. And the third one, you want to be your topic of choice. So my three are the fundamentals of drawing is the first, or of art in general. And the second, my medium is watercolour. Yours might be acrylic, gouache, digital painting, pastels, charcoal, whatever you fancy. My chosen topic is urban sketching, but yours might be graphic novels, character design, landscapes, portraits, whatever it is that you're interested in getting better at. And remember, just stick to those three because that is more than enough to keep you going for a long time. Now you may be asking, why is the first topic always the fundamentals? Uh, well, that's because the fundamentals are fundamental great reasoning. The fundamentals or those principles are going to apply to pretty much anything you create, whatever medium you're using. So I've got a little quote here from Lomis, who is like the top dog for drawing advice. Uh, quite old school though, some of his language, but anyway, forget that. So he said that the fundamentals you must master, but you can never do so by watching another man paint. You have to reason them out for yourself. And I think that's very true. There is only so much learning you can do. You have to actually practice these things to be able to put them into your own artwork. Now, you might have heard this term, the fundamentals of art, thrown around a lot. And there are quite a few different definitions of it. Some say colour, form, line, shape, space, texture, value, which just sounds like a shopping list to me. I quite like the description of the fundamentals given by Uncomfortable, who is the founder of one of the free resources I'm going to talk about, Drawbox. He, he breaks the fundamentals down into three core fundamentals, and those are mark making, observation and spatial reasoning. But I prefer the following subtopics, anatomy and figure drawing, perspective, form, which is basic shapes and volumes, light and shadow, colour, composition and brushwork, or the techniques of your chosen medium. So you may be wondering why life drawing uh, is included alongside anatomy. Go back to Lomis, you know that guy who like knew loads about drawing. Uh, another quote of his is, the nude figure must serve as the basis for all figure study. It's impossible to, to draw the clothed or draped figure without knowledge of the structure and the form of the figure underneath. And I think that's that's really, really true. Draw some naked people. Lomis also said a bit more ominously, 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 Ominously. No, I'm saying that right. Why does it feel so weird? Do you know when you say something too many times and it kind of sounds weird as it's coming out your mouth? Anyway, so Lomis, the drawing guy, he said, the artist who cannot put the figure together properly does not have a chance in a thousand of success. So I think what he's trying to say is anatomy and figure drawing are important if you're trying to draw any kind of people at all in anything. So we've got to study them. And the human figure is a really complex subject to study, which is why it's included in the fundamentals. So step two is to outline your curriculum. Look at each of those three areas and break them down into smaller subtopics. My topics are figure drawing and anatomy, perspective, composition, colour, watercolour, urban sketching and basics and exploration. I've then broken down each one of these into smaller areas. 
you can see here I've got figure drawing as a section and then anatomy as a section and then within them sections I've broken them down into different parts of the body and different methods. With perspective I've mainly used the Drawbox course for this so it'll make sense when you see me put it into the unit. Composition I probably need to break down further but I broke it up into a few small topics to begin with. Colour and value I've broken down a bit more deeply to include things like shading, shadows and ways that colour go together such as harmoniously. Watercolour I've broken down into mixing, different techniques and other ways of using watercolour. Urban sketching I'll probably break down a bit deeper but for now I've got it broken into cityscapes and people. And then finally with basics and exploration it's more generalised topics such as using master studies, character design, using a few different mediums that I want to try out. Step three is going to be identifying your resources. Now this is going to be a lot easier seeing as you've already divided everything into subtopics. So you want to be looking for online free resources such as websites, YouTube videos. You can also get some free courses that are available or taster session parts of bigger courses. They're really handy to use. Another big one is the libraries use them or lose them. I'm from the UK and we have so many libraries available to us. I didn't realise how many libraries I had in a 20 mile radius and they're very. I do have a few paid for courses, I think they're from Domestica. Now I bought these courses because I really liked the artists and I thought it might be nice to see their views and their techniques that they got to share. You can do this entirely free and you can set your own budget so if there are some paid for courses that you want to do, go for it. So the next step is to set up your first three units. And we're gonna set up the entire course only in three unit sections, rather than the whole thing once, because that one is gonna be a bit overwhelming and you want to be able to chop and change if you find that something's not working. Also, it feels a bit more achievable when you've just got three units, say, rather than 15 units. Here we can see me selecting different areas from different topics for the first unit. I also add the resources. Same with unit two. I try and get a good range from anatomy, colour and basics as well as the resources I'm going to use. And finally with unit three I pick another three mini topics. One from anatomy, one from perspective and one from basics as well as the sources I'm going to use. So have a think about what time frame do you want to do this over? I think a good time frame is at least a year to see real improvement, especially if you're going in depth into each of your topics. Now, my time frame is a long one. It's over a two year period. Last thing I want you to consider is writing down a list of barriers that could get in the way. So mine, for example, could be that I work three days a week and I have a toddler takes up a lot of my time and just being aware of these barriers is going to help you counter them so the main thing I want you to take away from this is that you can have a structured way of learning without having to pay the extravagant expense of art school it just takes a little bit more effort to put it together but it's tailored for you and in a way maybe that's better thanks for watching you may enjoy this other video of mine about why you shouldn't compare your sketchbooks to other people's sketchbooks online Okay, me done. Bye.